<laughs> so, all right, guys, this is Tattoo Squid Podcast. Your host, Dre, here with Haley and Podcast 27. How you doing, Haley? I'm great. How are you doing? I'm good. Like I said, you know, before, we going through all this, like, life different uh, difficulties and uh one or two episodes here and there in one day trying to um i mean that is dark and my tiki torches are up which is good oh yeah <laughs> it is getting dark yeah the sun's going down here all the tattoos yay tattoos. Yeah. <laughs> all right we got something else to talk about tattoos. Yes, i love i have so many plans for my tattoos so oh there we go we gotta get it because i'm like i got my my, my tattoo squid my like, tattoo thing on my back yeah and you know which is not bad but you know could have been better i want to have a whole big thing but the guy's like no nah, just do half but anywho um so what is your podcast uh about and what you usually do on your podcast so originally when i started it it was like a year ago my main focus was like mental health kind of thing yes or just random topics like kind of melding random topics in with mental health. And then mm. I met uh, Tim McCarthy and his yes. thing, mental health. And there's tons of great mental health podcasts out there. So I was like, oh, I don't want to, I don't want to copy anyone or whatever. I just kind of do my thing. And it depends on the mood that I'm in. Um, I do like to go back around and talk about mental health, but I'll, I'll pretty much talk about anything. I'm really bad about putting episodes out. But um, yeah, I'll try to get someone on the show or I'll talk with my husband and we'll do like 20 questions or that sort of thing. It can be all across the board. So, oh, okay, cool. Yeah. Yeah. yeah because I, I, I never really dealt with like mental health or something. Cause like, again, I, like I said before, we go about like, you know, politics and, and, and religion yeah. and, and mental health is like in there too, because I don't want to say something that is not. I'm not going to say familiar, but I don't want to say something that is like way off the point. Yeah. And I think too, that, um, I've dealt with mental illness probably since I was like six or seven, but I honestly think most people can relate to that. Or even if you are in great mental health, it's something that everyone can really talk about. Yeah. Um, but I'm the kind of person where I'm like, you know, you can say something off the charts or ask questions or whatever. And it's never really offensive. Cause like, if you don't know, then I'd rather talk to someone that has never had to deal with like depression or bipolar disorder or something because yeah. that's what they're probably doing, you know, okay in the brain. So, yeah. Yeah, we call it, I mean, I, I, I had a cousin, uh, a cousin's uh, son. He went through like bipolar uh, kind of, a, I'm not going to say kind of thing, but bi bipolar disorder. Yeah. And when you're younger, you know, you don't really know what it is i mean i didn't really look into it so i'm like i never really had somebody that's like close and we weren't really like close they were like you know how people like family come together and have like a little party here and there yeah. that's basically it i'll see them like at a party or a family get together and that's about it. it's not like we hung out or something but it's like oh he has this kind of uh thing and i'm like okay well i'm not sure what it is and and I didn't really want to know, I think, you know, but it is what it is. Yeah, you know. my family was the kind of, uh, or my parents, um, going back on both sides, they have a ton of mental illness yeah. issues going on. But my parents did not really, I guess, believe in that sort of thing, or they mm -hmm. thought it was just like teenagers going through stuff or whatever. And um, so it, it took me years after my, like, after I turned 18, 20 to really, I started therapy last year for the first time in my life. So that was the first time where I was really able to be like, okay, I'm going to dig up all my trauma and go through everything that I've been through and why I act this way, why my family is this way. And, um, after having those talks with some of my family members and putting boundaries yeah. down and stuff, it's, it's interesting how people's opinions can change, uh, when you tell them like, Hey, this is real stuff, and like we could all benefit from therapy, you know. So that's crazy. Yeah. Well, you know what? My kind of therapy um, is, and we, and, and I seen this on on you, and and I got it too, which is tattoos, and that to me is therapy rather than being. Back then, I was a drinker. You know, yeah. I never really was a drug person. I dabbled. Mm -hmm. 
but yeah, I did mostly drinking wise. But now, because I had a, a death in the family, which was uh, all right. Well, I'll just bring it up. We called my wife back then, like years ago. She had cancer and she passed away. So now it's more like therapy because I, you know, I went to see my friend as a tattoo artist, and he did numerous amount of stuff on my arms. Yeah. Um, and it just just grew. You know, it just like. Like to the point where you you know when you go to get a tattoo done, you make the appointment, or even if you have a friend and you go there like maybe once out of two weeks, if yeah. that, you know. Yeah. Mine was I'll go two days and then have to go to work two days, then I'll go back for another two days yeah. and get a tattoo. It's like I'll get one on this arm and yeah. then one on this arm, and I'm like, oh. Well, with this heal up and I'll get something on my legs. Yeah. And yeah. You know, like back to back. Yeah. It, it's like, and to the point where my my tattoo artist is telling me I need an intervention. So <laughs> I'm like, really? I'm like, dude, you know, what are you talking about? I'm like, dude, I'm paying you money to give me some uh, <laughs> not really, because I know him for so many years. He's like a like my own, like, like once I know you and we hung we hang out, it's like family. Yeah. To me, everybody's like family. Once I hang out, you know, we hung out and we go here, we go there, and we're yeah. going on for, you know, say a year, two years, whatever. You guys are like family. Yeah. You know, even on here, even when I do talking with people like from different podcasts, different realms of the thing, like a Harry Potter thing that you were talking about. Oh, yeah. And, you know, it, you're all like family to me. You know, it's like, you know, we should have like a family get together one of these days. <laughs> I know. I feel like you can really find a family community within any kind of fan base, if that makes sense, whether it's music or yeah. the podcast community. That was that was a huge turning point is finding all these new friends that are so supportive and stuff. And then or in the, you know, <clears throat> tattoo community, what comic books, whatever it is, you can always or, Yeah, exactly. You yeah, know, yeah. it's like and 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 getting on to the fact that uh well we'll get into uh the you know podcasting which is our genre our realm our our uh bread and butter i guess but not that money wise bread and butter but uh <laughs> you know <laughs> like tattoo wise what would be your your kind of like what kind of tattoos do you go for are you a doesn't matter what it is as long as it's cool so or... all of my every single one of my tattoos have a backstory or like a meaning okay. to it but I'm also not the kind of person, if I see a tattoo, I'm like, if it's cool, then yeah, I would absolutely get that. Um, but all at first I got all of my tattoos. They were like smaller kind of whatever, yeah. just random things here and there that meant something to me. And then once I got the first piece of my sleeve, I love traditional or like, you know, like old school traditional kind of thing. I got a piece commissioned and I was like, I wish I could have just erased all my past tattoos and just started over with those but i'm a big advocate for like if you see something and you just like it then just just get it yeah it doesn't always that's have what to i do frame. yeah that's what i always did I, when i first started i had i know i got now i gotta think because it's been so long um i had like one two three it was like sections i did yeah so i never thought of like sleeves because that meant money and i didn't have it but whenever I get money for birthdays, I'm like, tattoo, you know, yeah. and <laughs> that's what I would do. And I, uh, you know, and most of the ones I got done first, I, it was like more like a cover up yeah. because there's always something better that's out there. Mm -hmm. And I just, you know, cause even my friend looked at, he goes, this uh, thing with the bull's head skull and all this stuff, are you attached to this? I'm like, yeah, it's tattooed on me. Yeah, it's attached, you know, and he goes, asshole. <laughs> You know, I mean, are you, you know, you, you don't mind if I go over it. I'm like, oh, no, no, go ahead. You know, whatever, you know. But I always go for, um, I forgot what the name, what, what kind of, it's like the wall art that you see when you walk in a tattoo place. Oh, okay, yeah. You know, like it, it's there. It's like one of those, not fancy ones, but it, and it's not the ones that the, the tattooers makes mm -hmm. or they, it's not their own drawings, but it's like yeah. stuff that's, known throughout every tattoo shop that's on the wall yeah. and <clears throat> and then uh 
you know, so then I would pick something like that, like, oh, you know, let me go and get that, you know, classic, you know, uh, Black Panther or something, you know, that everybody gets those little ones. Um, and I did like that, but then also now I have a friend of mine who goes, oh, I draw this up. This will be perfect. Like, I'll do this. He goes, what is the one that you don't want to get? I'm like, you can do whatever on me, whatever you want, as long as it's not fairies and, you know, anything that's, you know, not, no offense to anybody that, that likes girlish or gayish looking things, not me. Yeah. Um, not and either. then, you know, I just go for like the, you know, the craziness ones, you know. Yeah. And I was the guinea pig. So I'm like, all right, cool. Just yeah. do it. Yeah. You know. I love that. Do you have plans to get a tattoo anytime soon? Uh, well, I mean, I did, I got one, like I said before, I had one done of a squid on my back where it's kind of like this almost. Um, like maybe a month or two months ago, maybe before Christmas, I think it was. Yeah. and yeah i definitely want to get something done i'm like you know i don't know if you've ever seen the uh netflix uh, uh tv show uh lock and key oh my gosh we love that me and my husband watched that show it's so good so there is a picture that i want to get like on the neck like, i don't know somewhere around here or maybe in the back or something i don't know but um it, it has like a boyish face like an outline of the of the whole face and body, but there is no face on it. It's yeah. just the key. And okay. you've probably seen it. We call when you look at the episode, there's like a, a key that looks like a skull face on there. Yes. You know, so yeah. I wanted to get that. I'm like, you know what? That would be a cool tattoo. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's rad. So, you know, I usually go for something like that or something that you're trying to think of. And um, I'm not one to like think of something and write it down. And I'm like, listen, here's a picture, and you know. yeah, yeah. But now I'm trying to think of like an, a a whole theme for the back because, like I said, I got the squid, I got two different eyeballs um, on my shoulder blades. One's an alligator eye, one's a human eye. So I'm trying to meld that together with the squid and trying to put like a aquatic theme on the bottom. Oh yeah, that'd be really neat. Yeah. You know, so there's like. <laughs> There was like a, a a skeleton, you know, just resting on the on the on the sea floor. Yeah. You know, and it's just like right on the coral, and then I got like a I found a bottle of a uh, Jägermeister, mm -hmm. which I you know I used to love drinking. I don't drink anymore, but I mean I used to love drinking that stuff. We call it it's like a big ass bottle, and I put it you know like right next to the skeleton, like it's me. Yeah. You know, like, okay, I'm done with the, the Jägermeister for now. Yeah. yeah the death, and, of, death of that era. Yeah. So, well, I mean, I'm not done, done, but I don't really drink. I might, you know, I might dabble into it. I don't know. <laughs> See what happens. <laughs> My friends are going to like listen to this and like, oh, really? Hmm. I got a Jägermeister ke keg over here. I'm like, okay. Yeah. You know, <laughs> but uh, that was our, our thing. Are you like a camping person? So I haven't, I would love to go camping. When I've done it in the past, I really enjoy it. But I, I probably haven't gone camping since 2014. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. So it wasn't like you, you totally like, in, like your, your younger, like five-year-old, six-year-old days, you know? Yeah. So. I definitely, I don't avoid it by any means. It's, I guess with all the years that have gone by, I don't have the kind of friends that like to go camping and my husband is not the camping kind of guy he's like a real like manly kind of dude but he's like camping i don't know yeah he, he wants to go and build stuff in the house and outside and make it like and yeah that would, that would be perfect for camping because we live near a bunch of lakes and so there's a bunch of camping spots where you can go fishing and swimming and have bonfires and we both play guitar and we sing so i'm like that's the ultimate experience for yeah camping. he's like no, we'll just go fishing instead. <laughs> so. Yeah, I mean, you could still do like he could be able to go there, and you know, you could have like, and I, I hate to say this because I was against the whole thing about RVs and everything else, yeah. because that's like bringing your own house with you, and I was like, I don't know. But now I think about it, you know, it's like I can't lay on the ground because I can't get back up, you know, because. I'm like 48, you know, and the bones are not the way they're supposed to be, yeah. you know, <laughs> especially yeah. when you're trying to, 
everybody else can go like, okay, no problem. I can get up. And then you're like, oh, oh son of a bitch. I can't yeah. do it. <laughs> you know, I'm 48. I don't know why I feel like I'm 62. I know, yeah. I'm, like, I'm 28 and I feel like my body's going to give out. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's, you know, they'll be like, oh, God. Well, like, I guess it's only yeah. going to get worse from here, man. Like, yeah. that sucks. <laughs> it's even bad when you're like, you're trying to get out of bed and your girlfriend's pushing you like, all right, come on, get up. You know, <laughs> yeah. like, I can do it myself, you know. But, uh, you know, that's why, because I had uh, uh, cots, you know, where I can, you know, lay in there and then I could try to get out, which I always have problems. But then when you drink, you always have problems trying to get out of a cot. Yeah. Um, then you start sleeping in the car with the AC on and then something else happens. But anyway, yeah. uh, but camping for me was like, I'm not saying therapeutic, but it was always fun. You know, yeah. we had, a, uh, we had the friends, like my very first camping was a place called Wamboozy. Okay. Wamboozy was like the modern version of Woodstock. Oh, fun. So we would go upstate and you get to this like this gate and then there's like a couple of people dressed in tie dye and look like, you know, hippies and yeah. and I'm like, where the fuck are we going? <laughs> yeah, I'm like, are we Am I getting hijacked? Am I getting kidnapped? I'm like, what the yeah. fuck is going on here? Am I going to be coming back home? You know, <laughs> and then I get in there and then we set up the the uh, the tents and everything else, but we're drinking on the process of the whole thing. And okay. folks, folks, when you're listening to this, and I've mentioned this before, when you go camping, set the tent up first before you start drinking, because when you start drinking and you set the tent up and it's pitch dark, you have no fucking clue and you're sleeping in the car for the first fucking day yeah so, and then you're wondering why your gas is diminished because you're a moron and you couldn't do this shit so yeah, <laughs> yeah. but and then that was what it was and we made our beer tents we made our, our party tents and you know we had enough food that lasts us two weeks even over there for a weekend yeah. and we invite people from over campsites and then we found out there was a bar in a campsite Oh gosh. Yeah, I mean it was great. You know, we were wandering over there, me and this guy, they call him uh we call it fucking Bigfoot, you know, for obvious reasons. And um, you know, one, he could be hairy, two, he has big feet. So uh then we go into this bar and we start drinking crazy amount of alcohol and then we stagger back to the to the campsite and everybody's like looking like where the fuck have you guys been? It's like there's a bar in the campground. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, like where? <laughs> You know, jump in the cutlass. Okay. You know. Yeah. Yeah. I do. I would love to go camping during like spring, summertime. The last yeah. time that I went camping was in February, I believe, of 2014. I was with my ex boyfriend and he had set up this like Valentine's Day tent and had like candles and wine and stuff. And mm -hmm. we got there and it was like 20 something degrees. So we ended up going back to his mom's house. And I was like, I don't really do the cold. I don't like cool I don't like snow I don't like any of that kind of stuff so it was a it was a kind of a shock to be camping in that yeah you, you, <laughs> you have to be like prepared for something like that you can't just go and say listen we're gonna go over here for Valentine's Day yeah and then I forgot to bring warm shit yeah <laughs> you know surprised but... me. blindfolded me on the way there and I was like I have no idea where I thought we were going maybe to like a friend's house or like a bonfire or something. And we get to the campsite. And I was like, I was not prepared for any of this. I didn't bring anything to prepare myself. So, so, so this, this is why you're, you're like, ah, I haven't done it since 2014. It, it made a void in your mind. You know, you're like, you, 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 you broke me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you bro, I can't do anything now yeah. because you son of a bitch. No. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, ex-boyfriend. I didn't mean to go on your <laughs> but uh but you know, camping was, you know, that was like whole thing. And uh but uh we call it what kind of movies does uh somebody that would go and you know watch? I mean, are you a I, I always put this forward because i'm a horror guy but i figured okay there's a horror genre there's mm -hmm. action there's comic book you know there's uh your 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 ill you know kissy facey one you know <laughs> well, but, yeah i'm a big like 
kind of, I guess it's kind of sprinkled around because I do love cheesy, cheesy rom-coms. I still love Disney movies. I'm a big Marvel fan, but I really love like thriller, paranormal. Like I love oh, yeah, that's right. yeah. that. Like the first scary movie I ever saw was The Ring. I was way too young to be watching that movie. Ah. And it scared the shit out of me. I was traumatized for a while. Um, but I love anything with like exorcisms or any sort of that thing those are usually my go-to yeah 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 like paranormal uh uh shit i forgot the name of the movie there, there the was par- like the paranormal activity yeah <laughs> yeah that it was on the tip of my tongue and i just yeah. could not get it out uh but yeah that is crazy like movie you oh, know because yeah. you watch it and you're like oh this could be fucking real you know yeah. And a lot of my, like, if I would see the movies with friends that don't believe in that sort I'm a huge believer in all that stuff. So in yeah. my brain, I'm like, oh, fuck, this is real shit. And they're like, no, 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 I'm not scared of this because this is not going to happen to me or whatever. Yeah. So, but I think it's, everyone has a scary movie in some sort of genre that scares them because they feel like it's real, whether it's like a murder like yeah, yeah, yeah. murder type of thing or whatever so yeah. sewer killers or something you know like something like an everyday thing that you can see that's going to happen in real life you know yeah. But, yeah. uh you know paranormal there was like eh, you know especially when you get the paranormal um tv shows that you watch you know mm-hmm. like uh ghost hunters which i love i love watching it it's just yeah. you can tell some of them are so just fake and scripted and cheesy and yeah it's fun to watch but yeah i searched far and wide to try to find like things that in my brain are real and not scripted which i mean i guess everything is but yeah yeah because i'm like i'm watching it because it's like to the point where they're like hey did you hear that and then you're 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 like next to the tv going like did i hear it (laughs) no i didn't hear shit i i hear static yeah you know i'm like i don't know what the fuck you're hearing i hear oh they're going to wendy's wait what yeah and, like, son of a bitch you know and um oh and folks if you didn't know and i if you probably see me writing stuff down over here is what i do a uh episode art nice that goes with the video that goes on youtube the audio that goes on audio yeah and i do the episode art for whatever we talk about i try to meld it all together that's super cool I love and that. and then it's not like it's going to be like yours and you know and and but it's like for everybody to see what what yeah. the episode is about and apparently um a podcast called uh sudden but inevitable in uh, inevitable i don't forget okay. sudden but we call it you know um you know he was saying that like you are famous for these things and yeah. i'm like I never knew I was famous for those, you know, there's a lot of people saying, oh, I can't wait for the episode to come out. I want to see what kind of art thing that he's going to do, which I've gone a little above and beyond on certain ones. And, you know, my girlfriend will look at it. I did one for, uh, not trash. I I did one for trash Panda. I don't know if, you know, which, uh, podcast I'm talking about, but trash Panda, I did one. And and I didn't post anything yet because it always goes in order. Um, and and I did it like so fast. I'm like, oh, how's that? And my girlfriend's always, uh, the, uh, you know, what was that word? That you call? like uh, she always looks at like my stuff to see if it's good and yeah. and what she thinks and get her take on it. And she's like, that's uh, she goes, I don't know, that's not your best work. You know, and I'm like, okay, okay, so I'll try something different, you know, and it, it's just crazy. I'll just get pictures of this, picture of that, but enough about that. You know, we all see that down the line. A couple, yeah, I'm excited to see that. Yeah, you know, so that's why we quite always like to try to talk different things, and then we just put everything in there and and make a whole. Uh... So Marvel, uh what kind of marvel movie is like your go-to or what's your favorite superhero let's go there i feel like superhero i feel like i'm a big fan of spider like the spider-man series i guess but my favorite superhero is probably thor okay I think I really love loki 
and I loved the series. I love the character. I love the, I love Norse mythology in general. Yeah. So, and Disney, Disney and Marvel kind of don't really portray it realistically at all as in like the Norse roots or whatever. Um, but the, I don't know. I'm always entertained. I always love the the plots and everything. So yeah, that's my yeah. one. Too. So we were, you were talking about um, actually on the subject of mythology. Mm-hmm. Uh, now I, like the social studies kind of thing where they talk about history and everything else but even with uh mythology and and i'll I'll say it i've watched the hercules fucking tv series and it's awesome yeah Yeah. (laughs) love the hercules you know you know kevin sorbo okay too much hair on the chest but anyway um (laughs) i'm just putting that out there i'm not saying it for being a a you know hey it's a good show to watch you know good action yeah. different characters that play this and play that um now hercules okay it can be played different ways you got your your beefy guy you got your one that's slender and you know whatever yeah. but you gotta have the certain like aries you know who can play aries yeah. who can be loki or you know i mean yeah i know it's not the same thing but they are gods yeah. um you know but what was the other ones? Uh, you know, like you get the speedster. It's almost like they take comic books and they make the comics, but they make it from the gods. Yeah. You know, like Superman, you can figure is like, like Zeus almost. You know, sense, you know, yeah. like he's that powerful. He can't be destroyed. You know, then you have um, uh, I forgot what the guy's name. The, the one that that runs real fast. The Flash. Well, there's Flash. Oh. But I mean the, the the gods, like the mythical gods. Oh, I couldn't think of it. I'll yeah, well, you, you know what I'm talking about. Like he has like the he has like the wings on the, on his feet, and you know he can go here and there. I, Is it Achilles? I think so. I'm not really sure, but you know I, I should have looked the shit up. But uh, <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> yeah, I was like, damn. Yeah. yeah, it's like we got we got cable and, and all this <laughs> other shit no but like i said we call it achilles can be taken you know like the flash can be taken from achilles you know being yeah. like fast or you know with the whole thing because you got other stuff going on yeah. um but who would be like the most mythical creature that you uh kind of like got intrigued about probably I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. The centaurs, like the half horse, half human. Oh yeah, yeah. Whatever. That's the first. Or I've always loved like mer people, but the centaurs. Obviously, Harry Potter did a, in my opinion, a pretty good job at. Oh yeah. Those. Um, but I really love looking at people's fan art or in ah, like, big myth- mythological yeah. books where it's got all. They either look like super evil or I don't yeah. know, they can just be portrayed in so many different ways which i think is really cool when people come up with their own their own kind of brand for it i'm not okay. artistic so i couldn't do any of that but <laughs> yeah um yeah well, harry potter is like I'm so harry potter fan <laughs> yeah it's like did you did you read the books first or did you watch the movies first so the books came out I can't remember. I read the first one. I was in first grade, so I was probably like seven or something. And okay. I, as the books came out, I went to like the midnight releases and read them directly the next day. And the movies were coming out as the, I guess the books were coming out, if that makes sense. So by like middle school, the fifth book came out. Um, and then I think the movie came out when I was in late middle school, early high school. Um, I have a Harry Potter tattoo. Oh, it. there you go. Yeah. Not everybody has a Harry Potter tattoo. That's the first. I think you're the first one I ever heard that has a Harry Potter. Yeah. So, <laughs> do, you, do you have the Harry Potter glasses? You yeah. Know? <laughs> yeah. I collect a lot of Harry Potter memorabilia, I guess. I went to Universal and stuff, but I really just love the the message of it all just by like all the controversy with the author and everything it I, it's what i grew up with like my dad grew up with star wars and um you know some of my family grew up with star trek and stuff yeah. and Harry Potter was my thing so 
Yeah, so, there you go. You know, your family has a very kaleidoscope kind of, uh, you know, stuff with different shows and all that. You know, your Star Wars, your Star Trek, Harry Potter. Yeah. You know, my, mine, mine's horror. You know, they're like, <laughs> really? We're going to watch it again? Yes. Um, like, yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah my, my girlfriend we look at like i don't know this is right up your alley you know you can watch it yourself okay yeah, you know that's no problem you know and i'm like oh i seen that one already. oh i see that one it's always like the cruddy ones and it's the the very good ones you know and the more famous ones <laughs> yeah yeah the ones that everyone like the cliche movies that everyone yeah seen. yeah they would like watch it, but then you don't watch like the the uh the older uh I, i'm you married know, the little kids like the alfred hitchcock you know kind of like yeah. movies that they have where there's like kids and they have white hair and uh they like psychically you know get in your head yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know so that's like the horror you know because alfred hitchcock he's the king of thrillers yeah so, you know, if there's like a, a favorite movie of Alfred Hitchcock or you're not sure what I kind know. of. I, because I know I've seen, I took like a film class in high school and in my first semester of college, but I could not tell you, I probably have to like hear titles of it. That sounds yeah. really bad because I should well, know off the top of my head, but. Well, I think there's a, there's the birds that that's like classic, the birds, oh, you know. I haven't seen it. And it's probably because I have a weird thing with like birds, dinosaurs, moths. If I watch stuff like, I don't know, even though it's old, I don't care where, what time it's from, it's going to yeah. scare on me. So, <laughs> but I did watch, I watched, I think it was Rear Window or something, something like that, where, I don't know, some movie they shot this, the whole movie was in one take pretty much. And yeah. I can't remember which one it was, but I was like, that's pretty fucking impressive. Some of those, old school movies are just i don't know classics they might be boring to other people but i'm like yeah. it's really interesting to see how far we've come since then yeah oh definitely movies have you know been like ecstatic with like different um realms of whatever yeah. you know like you know you got your your black and whites and then you got the colors but then you got all the different genres of different kinds of movies and yeah. and how special effects in in uh you know the green screen stuff really like you know like hence this you know does a lot of shit you know for movies and all you know like uh johnny depp you know kind of stuff you know like oh. the craziness of like uh you know the pirates of the caribbean mm -hmm. you know it's really cool too because i will sit and watch whether it's like harry potter or really any movie if you watch the behind the scenes stuff when they're filming it's pretty much all green screens for everything yeah. and it, they make it look so real and there's there's some shows that i watch that have a very low budget and for some reason they're still very su successful but the cgi and everything in it is just like absolute shit you know, yeah it's so popular but i guess that goes to show you know the money the more money a company has or whatever the more they can do but yeah, yeah the green screen uh, kind of ruined my my imagination once i realized what was going on when i was little <laughs> yeah but once you you know you get around and you're like okay i want to watch this oh this one's a lot better and then it starts getting better and better and everything else you know like like you said harry potter they have great cgi stuff but it looks so fucking real it's yeah. just unbelievable like uh like i'm not good with names of the different uh like creatures and all that you know mm -hmm. like when uh you know dumbledore was in his uh, office and then you had harry potter in the office and then you got the the fire looking bird the phoenix yeah yeah you know and then that's just like comes out of nowhere and then basically it it's a bird from what i seen because i don't know if you've seen the harry potter reunion i did i stayed up on new year's to watch it I, it came out at 3 a.m and i was like I have to watch this because I don't want any spoilers. I need to see it. I've been waiting for so long, but I know exactly what scene you're talking about because they were talking about the, I guess it was like an animatronics type of bird. Yeah. And they didn't have the heart to tell him that it wasn't a real bird. Yeah. Yeah. I know. I think it was a uh, Gary Oldman. I think or 
Yeah, Gary. I don't know if it was Gary Oldman that didn't know it was a, not a real bird or it was somebody else. I want to say it was the old Dumbledore. I want not Michael Gammon, but Richard, maybe Richard Griffiths or something like that. Yeah. Before he passed away because he passed away during the filming of the second movie. And so they didn't, I guess, didn't have the heart to tell him it wasn't real or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because we put this, this, you know, both, both of them that played Dumbledore, we call it, are awesome. And yeah. The thing it's not like okay you've seen the one guy and it's like oh he did great but how is this guy gonna do and he did as much great as the first oh yeah i was super yeah. impressed because i remember i was a lot younger when the first one passed away and then when michael gammon stepped in to do the next dumbledore i was like I, it was really spectacular to me i was like i don't think anyone had anything bad to say about his acting yeah. or anything oh yeah no definitely we call it on because i was like <laughs> I, I never really known about Harry Potter because everybody was like, oh, did you read the books? I'm like, not really. You yeah. know, I mean, I've watched the movies because it's easy. It's good. Yeah. It's right there. And, but oh, yeah. the the books, I'm like, I said to uh, uh, when I was living in Pennsylvania and I had these books where it's a, um, it, it's called Preston and Childs. You know, there's like a, two authors team up and then they do this whole thing. It was a thriller book oh, yeah. of a, uh, uh was it you, you've seen probably the movie they had a movie called the relic i think i've heard of it but i haven't seen it yeah it's like um some kind of prehistoric creature somewhat from an island or or a jungle and then the guy that's uh, a professor finds it or whatever and brings it to the states and puts it in like a museum oh, and then it just becomes more enticed and it goes after humans and eats the brain of it and then that part of the brain makes it more human almost oh, that's crazy that's you know crazy. but they, they had characters in there where uh like there's a, a lieutenant lieutenant da casa you know he's like the, the lieutenant of the police department and friends with you know a person that's in the museum but that's like the second or third book, I believe, of the series. It's called the Pendergast series. Okay. And Pendergast is like an FBI agent that looks like a morgue worker. Yeah. You know, he's all drawn in. He looks like a zombie, but he is part of the FBI. You would figure, okay, you know, he does look like an FBI agent. Yeah. But he teams up with the Casas and they always do these different uh varies of books and all that and they're the characters and it's awesome like i never really read a full book <laughs> even yeah. when i was in high school i never read like a full book i just read like me parts of it but this one book i could not put down that is super i'm gonna have to check it out because i love i used to love to read i still love to read but it's hard for me to set aside the time now i definitely have the time but to sit down and I always get distracted by different things that's why i like listening to podcasts because i can takes me like 45 minutes to get to work i can listen to one on the way on the way back yeah. whatever yeah definitely yeah it's yeah. like especially when you listen to a tattoo squid podcast yeah um, <laughs> yeah <laughs> but uh we could uh, i i try to listen to like every and everybody knows when you're on twitter or even instagram and you find out about all these different podcasts mm -hmm. and you want to listen to every one of them but you yeah. don't have like you said the time you know it's like maybe like the commute to work, you know, you can probably get like one to maybe, depending if you're in traffic, get one to like three episodes in yeah. and then you get a handle. Then you try to sell one. You're like, oh, let me try this one too. Yeah. yeah. So it, it's like, and I always try whenever I talk to people like yourself, like, you know, Sudden Bud and, and, um, and other people, I try to listen to their episodes so I can get a handhold of what they are all about. But also with this, I get to find out if I, even if I don't listen to it, mm -hmm. it will make me want to listen more about it. Yeah, I feel like it's easier to, once you get to know someone or you kind of see what they're about, because I was watching a lot of your YouTube videos um, <laughs> like the past like week or so. And I was like, Tim was like, you should check out my episode if you're going to go on a show. I was like, okay, it totally will. And so as I watched them, I actually watched one today. I think it was with, um, you guys were talking about who's going to die first, Betty White or something. Oh. 
like oh. for a movie or something. Yeah. And I was like, when was this recorded? I had to go back and look at the date. Um, so that was really funny. But it's it's really fun to either listen to a podcast first and then get to go on someone's show and you feel like you already know them. Or if yeah. you have to listen to their show, then you're like, okay, well, now that I know you, I know what you're about. Now I want to listen to your show. Yeah. But there's thousands of them out there that I'm like, I don't, I just, I wish I had the time and a day and a week and a month to listen yeah. to everybody's. Yeah, no, definitely. I mean, it's like, cause I, I see how uh, Tim always has like awesome guests on there. And I think that's why I, I went, the same way because i did this is like a season two yeah and i'm like all right i gotta try to do something differently and i did and but i think i took it from tim's uh kind of point where he get like guests on there and i've been a guest on his yeah. and and it's awesome you know especially you know you're talking to him in in a cat closet area it's you cool. know and <laughs> and people are like we need cat closet i'm like yeah folks there is a cat closet he has like a whole bunch of like stickers and there is a little figurines and signs and stuff it's really cool yeah it's awesome it, it's just like uh and and folks sorry about the audio because uh, for me for some reason it's uh i don't know if it's mine or whatever but it like the flying will go down and then come up and then you know and i'm like what the fuck's going on but anyway you know it's all good work around it um and it's like i have whatever you know <laughs> so uh but you know tim always like gives you a helping hand always yeah. like tries to like and i noticed that he's on your shows mm -hmm. like episodes and all that and then you go on his and all that and i'm like you know what i need to get you know her on and i got i had tim i gotta do it again with tim yeah, he's yeah. Like, I want him to come back on online at some point. He was the first person I think that followed my Twitter when I made one for the podcast because I went into it thinking maybe three of my friends will listen to my show, and yeah. if not, then at least I'm doing something that I really enjoy. And so he messaged me and was like, "Hey, it looks like we have similar interests, and let's check out each other's podcasts or whatever." And from there, it was like he's come a long way in his show. He does a great job. Oh yeah, definitely. So supportive. There's a whole group of them that are just the best people. You feel like you've known them forever. So mm. I would love to have like a huge podcast meetup and just have a good time. Well, you might you might come to fruition. You know, once this uh second season somewhat goes like ending or something, which is probably like eighty or ninety episodes. Yeah. Um. You know, I'm going to try to get, like, everybody to come back. Hell yeah. That was and do, like, a Zoom clusterfuck, I call it. You know, so, <laughs> you know, have everybody, you know, and try to get everybody to come in. And, you know, we all try to talk and get everybody's opinion. But some people are like, I don't know, that's going to be crazy. You know, yeah. are you going to be able to control it or something? I'm like, I don't know. I'm going to have team captains or some shit. I don't know. Yeah, I, but, was, uh, I was talking to someone and I was like, what what would it be like if we all got together? If like we all met at a like a podcast convention and like you Which know, there is, I think. I think there is a convention. I think there I've heard I was talking to I think or listening to Chicago Tony V when he does his live stream. Oh yeah. And he said something about next month there's one in like Arizona or something. And I was like, Well, I'm not gonna make that one. <laughs> <laughs> love for i'm going up to boston in march and i was like i'm gonna have to see if tim wants to meet up and get lunch or something and but as a big podcast party i'm like no one would shut up like we would not be able to get a word in because we're all talkers so yeah hey yeah. you let me know we call it because i live in long island so oh yeah that's right you know yeah. so I, if you guys want to go and make it down to long island yeah we're there and for a day and a half I think so. Maybe we can fit it in. We're actually going there to see a live podcast that I that's one of my favorites. So in Long Island? Um it's a no in Boston. We're we're oh, okay. up Saturday morning and then I think coming home Sunday, sometime Sunday. But the podcast that I love is touring and they're not coming to Georgia. So oh, okay. I just go up there because I wanted to originally see Salem, but yeah. we're gonna cut that for another time. So <laughs> yeah, that would be really neat. how far is Long Island from uh, well if you don't hit traffic as bad? I'm it's been a while since so, yeah, maybe five hours, maybe. Oh, it's not bad. Yeah, it's like five. I, I'm not really sure depending 
you know, because I have friends that are just like crazy, you know, like they'll go and see the Red Sox and everything else. And it's like, oh, we'll just travel here and watch the game and all that. I'm like, why don't you watch on TV? No, nah, we gotta go. <laughs> okay. But, um, yeah, yeah, because like if we can, you know, like me, you, Tim, uh, anybody else, maybe there's like, you know, wine dine story time there in Jersey, mm-hmm. you know, yeah. go and go to a coffee shop and just, you know, just. Yeah sit down there bullshit you know for like an hour and then over people walk out like i can't you know <laughs> like these people are talking too much you know like we're podcasting yeah. Yeah. yeah that's my kind of scene I yeah. you know like, yeah you know, coverage up for a diner you know we just go in there and like you know and like hey can we do like a video thing you know we just sit there and eat you know <laughs> yes. and, if, and if you ever seen wine dining story times uh we call it you know thing they 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 cook up a storm, oh, yeah. The it's, especially when they do their uh, uh, their episodes. Yeah. Yeah. They talk about whatever, and it's like, oh, we're gonna make this food that's gonna coordinate with the episode. That is so neat. I people are so creative with their projects and stuff. I love that. Yeah, it's just like I'm like I, I listen to it and I, I actually message them. I was like, listen, I'm like I love the episodes, but you guys make me fucking hungry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like to the point like I gotta go and get the food that you're making, but no, I gotta go to a fast food fucking thing. Yeah, you know? I'm like oh, let me go to Arby's. Yeah, uh, some meat or whatever. You know. Yeah. But uh, is there anything else uh, that uh, I'm trying to figure out? We went from tattoos to family gatherings camping marvel mm-hmm. paranormal uh ghost hunters and centaurs yes. uh harry potter you're not good with birds and dinosaurs no. <laughs> and and then 22 minutes and some uh you know honorable mentions yeah, but uh gosh, now with the, <laughs> the betty white thing i it wasn't even my idea you know, to be honest, you know, because a friend of mine at work's like, you know, because he's seen how, you know, Betty White's like, you know, it's going to be 100. Actually, she she would be 100 already now. Yeah. So her birthday passed, I think, like last two weeks ago, I think. Or something like that, yeah. Yeah. And then uh, he's like, you know what you're doing the podcast? I have a question. Like, who's going to die first? Betty White or Keith Richards? Yeah. And I'm like shit i'm like okay i don't know if that's gonna go good but then every time i go and ask it and then people just like huh that makes you think yeah you know and then (laughs) and i had the tally of it you know i I would tally it you know like and i think betty white was winning uh they had 18 people saying that keith richard was gonna die first because honestly keith richard died like three times already you know, basically, you know, just died like three times already. You know, the guy looks like he's a crimp keeper, you know, just like yeah. running around. And, you know, then Betty White is just a jewel, you know. I was not expecting, it was almost like very comical of her to go out last year, like, all right, I'm leaving you guys before my 100th birthday. But yeah. I'm so was shocked by it. And I am a big believer in like death comes in threes. So I was like, oh my gosh, I wonder who we're going to, you know, yeah. in this year. And then within the past week or so, we've had Bob Saget, Meatloaf, um, Louis Anderson. And it's just insane. Like, yeah. Well, one after another. Yeah. It, it's just like, um, <laughs> well, the, there was a funny story about with the Betty White. And I was going to do a Betty White tribute thing, but I completely I got sidetracked. Yeah. Uh, but me and my me and my girlfriend are trying to like look for houses you know like given it was you know mobile houses like manufactured houses um and we're driving around and we're driving back home and she's on the phone and she's like <gasps> you know and she usually like you know she does that side like every time something like you know shocks her or whatever and i'm like what she goes well wait just, just, when you merge and then you're not merging anymore let me know and i'll tell you what i've seen on the phone i'm like okay so I merged. I'm like, okay, I'm done. I'm merged. I'm straight. All right. What do you want to tell me? Yeah. You know? And then she goes, Betty White dies at 99. I'm like, <sighs> the headline was such a shocker. I was at work and 
I went back to the the back to like check my phone and I was like I don't think this is a joke because I've seen that article several times over the past like five years where people just make it up a celebrity death and yeah I go home and I'm like oh my god that that's real you know like they say like you know with uh, the guy ZZ Top you know uh, Billy Gibbons you know like oh he passed away you know like the lead singer they were saying but now it was the bassist that did but they were saying oh the lead singer passed away. I'm like, what the fuck? It's like, oh no, it's a hack. Yeah. You know? And then they said something about um who else was it? Uh oh, like recently, uh Adam uh Adam Sand not Adam Sandberg, Adam Sand Adam Sandler. Oh yeah, yeah. You know, and I seen that and I was like, it's like, oh Adam Sandler died. I'm like, get the fuck. Yeah, I'm like, what? No. Me. Yeah, it's just like crazy. But then you get Norm McDonald, he passed away like last year, but it was like that was crazy too. Yeah. You know, he was kind of young, but I didn't know he was battling a certain thing. So but um uh wait, what was I writing down now? I was writing down something. Uh oh Am Sandler. But uh you know, there'll be a good uh picture kind of cartoonish kind of thing to go in there. Oh yeah, I'm excited to see what it turns out like. And if you could be able to find like a cartoon picture of yourself, that's great. If not, yeah. then I'll just use the um, uh, your uh, not promo. I mean, but you know, something that you use for your own podcast. Yeah. You know? Oh yeah, yeah. I have so I I used Anchor. That's what I use for my. That's what I. <laughs> I love it. Um, until I figure out how to do anything else, I'm going to keep using it. But the icon that I used for it um, is a sample from Anchor. And so people are always like, who's that woman on your, like your icon? And I'm like, yeah. no, it just looks cool. That's why I picked it. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, until, yeah. Until I get another logo done. Um, then I there is, it. there is people out there. There's Tuska Dork. Um, he does like, uh, uh, like, illustrations and they can make yours and did like uh i know he did hops geek news yeah you know uh for nerds by nerds well no high on horror they, they have another one uh, they have a cool art uh thing they have going on as well and yeah. um i had like a friend of mine do we call this one you know like my friend's uh son you know he did that one uh, it's, it's good we could but i wanted to try to get something more going on like you know for shirt wise and yeah. you know so i had thing where i always called everybody squiddies you know so you know everybody's like oh i got to, you know figure the squid army or something yeah, that's perfect. <laughs> so I'm, I'm in talks with somebody right now you know so yeah. but uh in case um if nobody can be able to find out who where you are can you let everybody know where you can find you or yes so yeah. you can check me out on spotify apple i'm on good pods i'm on i guess any major platform um if you follow me on twitter at podcast 27 i have a little link where it has all of my you know like drop down links and you can just click whichever one instagram facebook whatever so is it is it called a link tree it's called a link tree yeah everyone uses i love it it's so convenient <laughs> Yeah, I mean, that's what I got. And I always saw them. I'm like, listen, just go to the link tree. Yeah. L-I-N-K-T-R dot E-E forward backslash podcast 27 or Tattoo Squid Podcast. You know, yeah. and it has everything on there that you can look at. You know, you can go to the shop. You know, or you go to your shop too if you have a shop on there. You're, you're okay. buying. What you got on there? What you got on there? coffee i do want to have when i can get a solid logo then i will have some merch someday but i do have like buy me a coffee um anchor uh, literally the whole list is on there i think i have a youtube page but it's just me and tim's interview so eventually i'll start doing more video stuff but um yeah everything's on there yeah okay cool and, yeah. you know and also you could follow me we call it on again linktree l-i-n-k tr dot e e forward backslash tattoo squid that's t a s q u no wait t a two s q u i d not t a double t double o yeah because <laughs> i would not be able to put that on my license plate like i do now i have you know 
So I, I promoted myself on the license plate. Uh, that is such a smart idea. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Well, no, I mean, I, I did it because I was like getting tattooed and I actually have, I don't know if you can see it, but no, damn it. Okay. There we go. There, yeah. But it's not a squid. It's actually a, an octopus. Okay. But I like squids because they're a little bit more meaner. Um, yeah. You know, but octopuses are really cool too. But, you know, that actually, um, you know, I got the tattoo of Poseidon. On oh my, my god! Mind. Hell yeah! Yeah. I just, I just have, I have a cover up that I need to give, but this is the only one. Oh, okay. I thought you had like many more. You know, so. I, I have eight in total, I think. But this is the biggest. I have one on my side that's pretty big, but this is my first color tattoo, and my sleeve is. We'll finish it in the next year or two. So. Oh, okay. Yeah. And you'll see it here first, <laughs> or on hers first, and then come on. Either one, <laughs> or or Tim's, you know. <laughs> oh, there's, I'll pop up anywhere. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> or if anything, you know, we'll just have a whole, you know, me and 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 you know, me and Haley and Tim go all together like a three oh, yeah. different kind of person, you know, podcast. That'll be a party for sure. Yeah, definitely. You know, you know, we can see what kind of like, you know, the cat closet has upgraded to. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, thank you again, Haley. I know it doesn't seem like it's long, but it's it was a long uh, thing that we did. So, yeah. We really kept track of time. Thank you for having me and asking me. Yeah, yeah, no problem. You know, it's like you got you want to come back on. You just okay. let me know. We'll do like an L thing. If you got something planned or something that's out of the blue that you want to go and promote you know basically i'm told i am the late night talk show host i love that so i guess and plus now with the graphic uh not graphic but photo art kind of thing yeah um which is very easy you just photoshop like certain stuff you know that's basically it that's the secret folks yeah <laughs> I, I don't really I, I don't really have the pen to be able to go and do whatever you know because i can do stick figures but that's about it <laughs> you know and it's not gonna look that good you know it's like listen i'll just put a little block here oh shit son of a bitch i just lost it Fuck <laughs> me. I don't even know why I'm using it. once i said blonde hair everything just fell down i'm like what the hell my, my achilles heel you know but um again thank you again Thank you. Uh, and uh, we call it, you know, again, come back. Uh, you know, follow her on podcast. I'm following podcast. Follow her on Twitter. She does a podcast. It's called Podcast, you know, 27. Um, and, you know, just, I know I'm just babbling on here because I don't want to, like, you know, be, like, crazy. But, and also, you look like you're in, like, a reading room area. This is actually my podcast room area, which is crazy. I have like, the lighting is always so dark in this room, but yeah. I have my podcast table set up. I have to read, I want to redo the whole room. So it's like an official kind of office setting, but my my like dancing pole is in here that I exercise on and all my makeup and stuff. So this is my little nook area. Yeah, I did not even know about that. I don't know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> A dancing pole. We should all get one. Yeah, yeah. it's fun. You know, I... <laughs> fun for me <laughs> i don't i don't know about that we call it this body's not gonna be made just to hold on to a, a pole and then it'll just tilt over like you see on on you know uh ridiculousness you know oh gosh love that shit. <laughs> hey i can do it no problem <laughs> you know that's yeah. it. but uh yeah i'm gonna try to get a um uh because, well, like I said, we're going to be looking at a house. And I want to get like my own office area, but you know, for a podcast wise, and yeah. and I got like all different craziness I want to be able to put in the background. And Hell instead yeah. of this, where you know my hands disappear every fucking time, um, <laughs> have your own little background. Yeah, yeah, I have like you know, because in the garage, I have like most of my my stuff in the garage, and it's like all horror kind of like stuff. I got Frankenstein. Uh, you know, like that, that, like a statue, statue, but it's like a, 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 a prop. So you can press a button on them and you can shrink them down. I love that. You should include that in your show. <laughs> oh, no, definitely. I have it. Actually, you, you, if you see the videos, like the earlier ones, you'll see it on it. Okay. So I have to go back, back. Okay. Yeah. You, you got to go back, back. Not like with the interview thing, just like 
I, I saw like one or two of them, like the earlier ones, and I'm like, oh my god, what the fuck happened to me? <laughs> you know, and and then now you see, you know, like what it is now. Yeah. But um, I had like the video camera facing me, and it was charged up, and then I had like the spotlights and. And I just went on, and it was like really low budget kind of like lighting stuff, and yeah, fun stuff. You know. Yeah, you know, so you can you'll see Frankie on there. He'll wear like an apron and some kind of hat too. So yeah. oh, I love that. You know, it, it's like different shit now. And uh, like I said, once I get all that stuff going on, and you know, my girlfriend's like, "That's that's all you." <laughs> you know, I'm not touching it. You know, there's like crazy looking like ceramic dolls that look demonic and oh yeah uh was it goosebumps was it goosebumps i think the there's like a movie called goosebumps or a tv yeah. show they, and they had the, the puppet with the, the the bow tie oh yeah 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 and they, he's in there too <laughs> yeah. i know there was i because i loved goosebumps and then the other guy was from like saw i can't remember his name but the oh uh, was tobin uh, tobin bell Oh, that, 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 yeah, 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 Jigsaw. Yeah. Jigsaw. Yes, Jigsaw, yeah. <laughs> yeah, oh, you're, you're just, you're hitting my, my favorite uh, spot of horror movies. Yeah. Yeah, you know, like everyone's like, no, I don't like watching, like, uh, what is it? She called it a uh, very senseless killings where they just yeah. kill for, fun. you know, whatever. And I'm like, yeah, but it's more fun. Yeah. yeah, this was fun to watch. It's <laughs> for me, gore doesn't like bother me at all. So it's just like fun to watch in the event of, you know. Oh man, that would be this is gonna be an awesome thing because we're gonna have Jigsaw just riding in with a little like free wheel, you know. I love that. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and uh maybe some gore have some like uh, the elevator open up with some blood. Yeah. Um <laughs> have the Marvel heroes going, oh, no. <laughs> yeah. But um like I said, you know, it was an ongoing thing, but thank you again. And uh, we're definitely going to have to get Tim in and we go and do that whole meetup thing if we could. Oh, yeah. You know, um, yeah. So Long Island is like, you know, because there is people in Long Island too, like Shoot the Flick. Uh, there's like other uh, people that's on Long Island, which I forgot what the name were. Sorry, people. Uh, yeah, you know, and then we just go and have coffee and just you know just shoot the shit, you know. Yeah, that sounds like fun. So alrighty. All right, let me let you go. You probably have like you have to get dinner going and well not get dinner going, but I mean you're probably gonna have dinner. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I love to cook, but it's I'm also it's a lazy kind of night tonight. So yeah. yeah. I think I'm gonna go and you know, she wants like diner food and I want to get Chinese and yeah. <laughs> and chow down yeah. all right so um i want to shut this down and i'll a little chat after yeah. you know it's nothing you know i don't want to hold you back on anything so uh right so folks have a good night follow each of the podcasts and see you on the flip side